Hi there, welcome to today's episode, and I'm so glad you are here with me. If this is your first time, my name is Catherine Chong, and I'm the founder of Pristine Fertility and a certified fertility dietitian. Now, low AMH level can feel like a daunting diagnosis, but it doesn't mean your fertility journey is over. And in fact, I'm going to share with you the five science-based strategies to help you to boost your fertility naturally, even with AMH. So be sure to watch this entire video because I'll be sharing a special free bonuses, my fertility e-guide to help you to guide you on the next step on optimizing your fertility. But now let's start with the basics. So what is AMH? So AMH, also known as anti-mullerian hormone, is made by small follicles in your ovaries. It's often used as a marker of your ovarian reserve. And in simple terms, it tells you how many eggs you have left. Now, if you have been told that your AMH level is low, here's what you need to remember. You can still get pregnant with low AMH. AMH tells us the quantity, not the quality. And yes, nutrition and lifestyle play an important, powerful role in preserving your egg health and quality. Now, let's dive into the five key nutrition steps to help you to support your fertility when you have low AMH. Number one, optimizing your vitamin D level. So vitamin D isn't just about your bone health, it's deeply involved in fertility and overrun health. A recent study showed that for women with PCOS, vitamin D helps to reduce AMH, which may encourage ovulation. Now, for women without PCOS, vitamin D increased AMH, suggesting it may be helpful in preserving ovarian reserve. Vitamin D also linked with lower follicular stimulating hormone levels, which tend to rise when the egg supply is declining. So here's a pro tip. Making sure that you want to talk to your doctors and ask for a vitamin D blood test if you have not done your vitamin D check for over six months and this is below optimum level, you may want to consider supplementing with vitamin D under proper medical and fertility dietitian supervision, of course. Now, number two, follow a whole food-based diet. A recent study in 2024 found that women who follow a whole food-rich diet, so think about fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein, had higher AMH levels and more enterofolicus count than those following a processed Western-style diet. So here's what I want you to take action today as well. So think about Mediterranean style of eating and start by focusing to incorporate more colorful food and unprocessed food to support your long-term fertility. Now, number three, cut back on saturated fats and fast food. This one here, the research is pretty clear. So diet high in saturated fats, fast food, and processed snacks are consistently linked to lower AMH level. And another study even found that added sugar and certain unhealthy fats may accelerate overrun aging. So here's the top tip, making sure that you choose nourishing fats like avocado, olive oil, and fatty fish instead, and swap out any processed snack for nuts, seeds, and legumes. Now, a quick check-in. Are you finding these tips helpful? If you are, make sure you watch the entire video because I'm going to share with you the last two strategies which are going to be game changers for you. And don't forget while you're here to download and grab your free fertility e-guide. Follow the link below as I break down all the steps you need to take to optimize your fertility. So make sure you grab your free copy now. Now, moving on next to maintain a healthy body composition. So body composition can also influence your AMH level, especially if you are carrying a higher body fat percentage. So in one study, it shows that your body composition associates with a stronger link with ovarian reserve markers. 
However, before you're thinking about losing weight or following any extreme dietings or intense workout, it is essential to have a chat with your fertility dietitians and under proper guidance to make sure that you are following a balanced meal while you're trying to conceive without overly restricting your food, as well as focusing more sustainable exercise of movement, as well as reducing your inflammation to help you to optimizing your weight. Now, lastly, tip number five, personalize your supplement strategy. There's no one size fit or supplement for low AMH, but certain nutrients like CoQ10, vitamin D, omega-3 and folate are known to support your egg quality. But here's the key, your supplement strategy should be tailored to your lab result, your health status and your fertility goals. So make sure you check with your fertility dietitians to review your supplements and adjust based on your unit needs. So to sum it up, nutrition does matter when it comes to supporting low AMH level. So definitely thinking about getting your vitamin D level checked as well as focusing on a well-balanced Mediterranean eating plan and lifestyle, as well as healthy movement to help you to optimize your fertility, even when you have low AMH level. Now, if you want to have more guidance on how you can optimize your fertility, make sure you follow the link now to download my free e-guide so you can start to take the right actions to help you to optimize your egg health and quality. And don't forget to also give us a thumbs up and if you like today's episode or even better to share this app, someone else you know is going to be benefit from today's episode. And as usual, leave a comment below if you have any questions for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.